Hello all, welcome back. Um, today I would like to show you how you can enable XMOBA in your XMONAD or pretty much you can do this like uh, with any window manager if you want. You can use XMOBA with any window manager but I am going to show you for XMONAD installation which I have done in the last video. So first we need to copy configuration file. So by default if you install XMOBA you are going to have uh, the default configuration file available in this directory this one so if you go to user share doc packages xmoba so you are going to have a directory named examples inside examples you are going to have a xmoba configuration file so you need to create a directory xmoba inside the dot config so let me show you from the beginning so we are going to cd to dot config and if i do an ls over here you can see i have an xmoba directory but you will not be having this directory so you need to create mkdir space xmoba you have to do that so after doing that you can copy the default xmoba configuration file from cp user share documents packages xmoba inside xmoba you're having a directory called examples inside examples you're having you're having this configuration file xmoba.config i'm going to use that we are going to copy this to our home directory like uh, inside our home we are going to copy this to dot config slash xmoba and we are going to name this i'm sorry i made a mistake over here so we are going to copy this to another name so you can use xmoba dot config or you can use xmoba rc so after doing that if you do like cd to dot config xmoba and if you use your text editor to open up uh, file you can see this is the default configuration for xmoba so this is like uh, the old school way of giving like uh, specifying the font so if you want you can specify like this if you are aware of this scheme or you can use the way like which we use for our spectre window manager configuration like uh, if i do an exit over here if i do a cd and if i open up my spectre window manager configuration file you can use a um, naming scheme like this this will also work if you want i can show you this like uh, I can use the same scheme for that. So if I go to XMOBA configuration again, and if I open up the configuration file, I can use, I can go to insert mode, I can delete this entire line. Instead, if I want, I can use uh, this way. So I can specify the font. This is for the font name, and I can specify the size for the font and i can enable anti-aliasing whichever it may be so i can use that so by default you're having some values displayed in xmoba when it's being displayed so you'll be having your weather network cpu usage memory swap and all the other things so if you want to know more you can go to xmoba inside haskell hackage so it's having like a pretty big uh, like pretty extensive documentation for this if you want to do a little bit more customization you can do that over here so when it comes to customization the sky is the limit you can do anything you want over here the next thing you have to do is you have to navigate to your xmoba direct xmonad configuration file so cd dot xmonad and xmonad.hs 
our configuration file. Oh, I'm not going to CD. I'm going to open that up in a text editor. I'm sorry. So if I open that up, you can see I have added few lines over here in the imports. So in order for us to use uh, Xmova, we need to specify like some import hooks. So this is for like uh, getting it displayed for uh, like all the time. Like sometimes if you enable that without using some functions, uh, it's, go it's going to be displayed before the window. If you open up something, it's not going to be displayed over here. It will be an empty screen. Like uh, you are, you are not going to get a bar. So we added two imports. So while you type this, you need to be very careful because I did it wrong once. So this X and M of the X dot hooks are in uppercase. So you need to be careful about that. This H is in uppercase and this M is in uppercase. Here, if you see the R is in uppercase, U is in uppercase. And same, the X and M for this is in uppercase. The next thing is you have to specify, like if you go down a little bit, you have to specify the path of XMOBA. So here inside the main, we are specifying you need to, like this command tells, like each and every time we open up XMOBA, it's going to open XMOBA for us. So that is this command. So for using spawn pipe, we use the xmonad utils import. And we have to specify like this xmonad dollar docs default. So I'll copy this like um, I'll provide this in the link of uh, like in the description of the video. So if you want, you can copy that and paste it right away. Then these are the typical key bindings. Yeah, that's about it. If you want uh, your window manager to be like, um, not your window manager, I'm sorry. If you want your bar to be displayed above all your modes over here in this part, not just once, you need to add this one. In my layouts, you have to use avoid struts and in brackets you have to specify your layout so this one will be specified like already it will be available already there so you have to give this one for strut space like this so you need to be special uh, like really careful this s is an uppercase so after that is done you can save and exit then if you restart your x monad going to see xmoba over here so right now it's like extremely small size font so what i can do is i can open up vim and uh, dot config xmoba and i can open up the file configuration file if i go up like i didn't change anything over here so it's going to have the old school name so if you have used the other way of uh, specifying the text, you can change the pixel size for this. So I'm going to insert mode, I'm going to change it to some value like 60, you know, something. I do like save and exit and if I restart X mode, it's still smaller size. maybe 20 if I do that hopefully xmonad will display me like a big, bigger xmoba yeah you can see like you get the idea you can change the font size and you can get an increased font size for xmoba see but sometimes you're not like uh, even if you restart your xmonad with mod and q you're not going to get bigger size in this one so you can mod shift and q to exit out of your xmonad and once you log in again you're going to see now the xmonad 
bar xmo bar is in bigger size so that's pretty much for today if you want to like do a bit more customization if you want like uh, there are two ways of doing this either you can steal somebody else's configuration from git or uh, you can do it by yourself by like uh, reading the documentation of xmoba from haskell so that's it for today i hope you all have a wonderful day